Gas pressure is usually measured by manometers. The simplest manometer consists of a graduated U-shaped glass tube closed at one end and connected to the gas container at the other end. The tube is filled with liquid mercury. When there is normal atmospheric pressure inside the container, air pushes a column of mercury up to a height of 760 millimeters of mercury. At this height, the pressure exerted by the mercury column balances the pressure exerted by the air. As air is removed from the container, the air pressure is reduced and the column of mercury drops down. You can read the pressure as the difference between the mercury levels in the two arms. If the container is evacuated completely, the columns of mercury will reach the same height in both arms. Any other liquid can be used in a manometer. However, the height of the manometer depends on the density of the manometric liquid. Water is more than 13 times less dense than mercury. Therefore, the water-filled manometer would need a height of about 10 meters. The use of such a manometer would be rather awkward. Manometers for measuring atmospheric pressure, called barometers, do not contain a liquid. Inside a barometer, there is a small, evacuated metal capsule. Changes of atmospheric pressure make the capsule expand or contract. These tiny movements are transformed by springs and levers to the indicating arm, which points to the actual value of the atmospheric pressure.